Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel and for today's video, we will be providing examples of trigonometric functions derivative. <laughs> Okay, so we will start now with our examples. So let's say for number 1, let's say our f of x is equal to cosine of 1 minus 5x squared. So ito yung sa previous video natin that your cosine of u, ang derivative niya is, ano nga yun? This is negative sine of u times derivative mismo ng u. Kasi u here is differentiable at x. So yung tinutukoy natin u is this one. So it's a composition of two functions. So parang binubuo siya ng dalawang function na yung isa is cosine x. Yung isa naman is 1 minus 5x squared. Okay. So how do we do that? So f prime of x equals derivative nito which is negative of sine 1 of 1 minus 5x squared, tapos derivative sa loob, which is negative 10x. Tama? So therefore, your answer is 10x sine of 1 minus 5x squared. That's it. Okay, so how about number 2? Let's say our function f of x is equal to sine 3x cosine 3x. So how do we take the derivative for this? So, di ba dalawang ano to, functions? Yan, and yan. So, this is the uh, product rule. So, that's the previous video we had before. Like, the derivative of the product. So, ang mangyayari, copy this one. So, you have sine. Okay, recall muna natin yung derivative ng product. So, let's say, f is equal to g times h. Diba ang mangyayari, uh, f prime of x, that's equal to g of x times h prime of x plus h of x times g prime of x. So, ibig sabihin, you take this one and then the multiplied with the derivative of the second plus the second times derivative of the first. So, ganito din ang mangyayari sa atin. So, kopyahin mo na yung sine 3x. Times the derivative ng pangalawa. So, that's derivative of cosine 3x. Yan. Plus, um, cosine 3x times the derivative ng una, which is sine of 3x. Yan. So, what happens? So, you have sine of 3x. Kaso, derivative of cosine of x. So, parang chain rule to sa loob. So, mangyayari you have derivative of cosine 3x so that's negative of sine 3x pero derivative sa loob parang chain rule derivative so ang mangyayari this is multiplied by 3 plus cosine of 3x times eto derivative niya which is cosine of 3x din pero derivative sa loob which is 3 so what happened now so, this is negative of, may 3 tayo, so negative 3 sine squared 3x plus 3 cosine squared of 3x. So, eto na. That's it. How about number 3? So, let's say f of x natin is equal to the square root of cotangent of x. Okay. So, how do we solve that? So, it's, it's still chain rule. So, isisipin mo, parang expression to. So, meron kang eh, ganitong itsura. F of x, square root niya. So, di ba pag chain rule? So, ibig sabihin, unahin muna natin to because that's the same as f of x raised to the one half. So, we have f of x equals cotangent of x raised to one half. So, therefore, f prime of x, that's baba si one half times tapos cosine of x 1 half minus 1 times the derivative of cotangent of x. So kung napapansin nyo, di ba ito yung ano, derivative ng f of x raised to, let's say, that 1, 1 half. So di ba mangyayari diyan, this is 1 half f of x 1 half minus 1 times the derivative of f of x. So same lang dito. 
So, this is equal to 1 half. Anong mangyayari? Cotangent pala ito na, sorry. Cotangent. Cotangent. So, this is cotangent of negative 1 x to the raised to the negative 1 half. Derivative ni cotangent of x is, ano nga yun? This is negative of cosecant of x. Cosecant squared of x times derivative ni x which is 1 lang naman. So, ano mangyayari dito guys? So, this is negative of cosecant squared of x. Ito, bababa kasi ito. Magiging denominator yan eh. So, this is 2 times the square root of cotangent of x. Tama ba? Kasi di ba ito, bababa lang naman to para magiging positive yung 1 half. Okay. So, if you have any question or clarification, please let me know. Okay. Lastly, which, um, let's say our last example, let's say our f of x is secant of x over 1 minus sine of x. So, how do we take the derivative for that? So, this is derivative of a quotient. So, ang mangyayari, f prime of x equals, eto muna, 1 minus sine of x times the derivative of secant of x. Yan, minus secant of x times the derivative of 1 minus sine of x. All over the square of the denominator, which is 1 minus sine of x raised to 2. So, ano to? This is 1 minus sine of x. Derivative ni secant of x, that's, ano nga yun? Secant of x, tangent of x, minus secant of x. Derivative niya is, di ba magiging 0? So, derivative of sine, that's cosine. So, negative of cosine of x all over 1 minus sine of x raised to 2. Okay, baka pwede pa natin to i-simplify. So, you have secant of x, tangent of x. So, tingnan mo. So, this one, distribute ko sa nat 1. So, minus, i-distribute ko to, yan. So, we have sine of x, secant of x, tangent of x, minus. Oh, okay, negative, negative. So, maging plus yan. So, we have secant of x, cosine of x, all over. 1 minus sine x raised to 2. Okay, so mag-separate muna tayo ng scratch ha. Kasi kung papansin mo yan, yan, scratch mo na to ha. Di ba that's sine x? Yung secant x mo, di ba that's 1 over cosine of x? Tapos yung tangent x mo is sine of x over cosine of x. So kung multiply mo, meron kang sine squared x over cosine squared x. Diba, that's equal to tangent squared x lang naman. Tama. So, so mangyayari, we have secant x tangent x minus tangent squared x. Ito naman, pwede nating yan, that's the same as secant of x times 1 over secant of x, yung cosine. So, di ba, cancel maging 1. So, therefore, this is plus 1 over 1 minus sine of x, quantity squared. So, therefore, this is the derivative. That's it. So, if you have any questions or clarification, please let me know.